Friends, lots of things were renamed at Inbound. Operations Hub is now Data Hub, Data Sets have been extended into Data Studio, but this is not purely branding changes. I want to show you data sets and data studio now and what makes it new and different and bigger and better. So check this out. Here I am inside data studio and the thing I'm creating is still a data set, but there have been a lot of things added here around the data sets to support it. So if I create a new data set, look at this. The, the, this is a, an all new experience. The UI is totally different, but the first we're going to select some data that we want in our data source. I will, I, a data set. I will just select contacts here and continue. And these have now been added. I could add different properties as columns, right? Build this out however I want. But now let's add another source. And I could, of course, join companies. That would not be that interesting. But look at external data sources. A while ago, months and months ago, we added the ability to uh, import C a CSV directly into a data set. That's not new. But look at if I said add new external source, look at all these options. Look at all these things I can I, I can connect with and pull into this same table I'm building. I can upload a desktop file. Let's do Google Sheets. It's a pretty straightforward example. I've already turned this integration on. I'll select it, um, and now I'm going to open Google Drive. And I have to just sign in real quick. And what I'm going to see right inside of Data Studio is a, a list of my spreadsheets. And so if I grab my inbound data demo here, uh, if you have multiple sheets in your spreadsheet, you can select which one you want. This one only has one sheet. And then on the next page, you're going to select your columns. And look at this. This is really interesting. This spreadsheet has clear headers right here, but it has all this other stuff that I'm just going to ignore, some notes somebody put in here for some reason. Um, and uh, we're, we're going to just say this is the row that is my column header. Now it knows which, which row is my column header. It's, it, it's pulled those in. I can choose what kind of data each of these has. I can check and uncheck the ones I want, and then I can add this data source. And now it is joined to my, uh, to my sheet. I just grab it right there. And I can, I can decide how it's going to be joined, right? Uh, left join, inner join, whatever. Um, I can choose what we're matching on. Um, so this, this, these both have email. Um, and uh, we can just connect this in. And now, um, boom, this is one table, right? And I can add more uh, external sources. I can add more CRM data. I can add uh, some derived columns if I want to add, uh, you know, um, uh, it, it calculations and things. Um, I can put whatever I want in this, and then I can go ahead and save it. This is, uh, you know, my amazing uh, data set. Save it. And so there's uh, a, a lot of power now in how you bring data into a, a, a data source, what, what, uh, a data set, what sources you bring into a data set. Uh, but now, look, if I come to this activations tab, I can choose where to use it. And you are accustomed, if you've ever used data sets, you know you can use them to build reports. But look at all these other things you can do now. Workflows, lists, sync, right? Sync to CRM. You could pull all this data into CRM properties if you wanted. Look at the workflows thing. This is really cool. It's going to build a workflow, and it's, it's going to have all these enrollments. This is going to be scheduled, right? On some regular basis, we want to pull information from that data set and, and run it through a workflow. But look, if I come down here and I add branching logic, I can not only branch on the, the records uh, pulled in, um, but I can uh, choose to branch based on columns from my data set. This is wild how much data you can pull in and how, all the ways you can use it. I think this is really cool. This is what sort of thing is happening now inside the thing we call Data Hub. Data Studio has a lot of power around supporting data sets. So that's uh, Data Studio inside Data Hub. Check it out. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions.